Hey everyone, we're back. We're back. <clears throat> Mecca and Clem back again with more Resident Evil 5, and you know what I forgot to do, Clem? Tell me. I forgot to announce that we're live again. Oh, whoops. At least, at least we didn't start the game this time, though. That's a fair point. Okay, so I am going to announce this while we set the game up. Hmm. Sounds good. Uh, do you want to change costume again, or you want to keep what you have? I actually did change already. Nice. Yes. So I'm good to go. All right, let me send that invite out for you. Yep. We can do that while I'm posting the announcement. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. That's my boy, Clemothy. There he is. Join. Uh, yeah. I love when the game tells me it's going to end my current session when I don't have a current session going. Got a secret session going. Yes, that's right. Waiting reply. Oh, get that. Well, at least the mic isn't turned on this time. It's not, because... Oh, yeah, it's not blinking. It's just on my screen. Good. Yep. Um... Yeah. All right, announcements are out. And Santa's in the house. How you doing, Santa? He is. Hello. Remove those. Hey, it's Nicole. Hello. Welcome Quick in. Quick hunter down. Hunt her down. What? I'm doing okay. Uh, how are you doing, Clem? I'm doing all right. Clem's doing it's okay. It hurts. It's snowing, which is nice. You know, it's getting warmer over here. I got the uh, the temperature forecast for tomorrow, and it's like, oh, it's going to be ten degrees. Oh, really? It was minus two on Saturday. I wanted to open my shade a little bit so I could see the snow blowing around. Mm. I'm ready. How you doing, Sina? Oh. How loud is this? Not very. Okay. You know, right. the history of Resident Evil on the loading screens... Ooh, business. Nice. Yeah. The history of Resident Evil on the loading screens always bothers me. Why is that? Because it restarts every time you turn the game off. It restarts... Oh, the sequence of the of the thing? Yeah, when it's telling you the history. Hmm, I didn't know that. I, I don't think I've ever seen the end of it. When it actually catches up to, like, RE5. Neat. Doing good? I'm glad. Yeah, the snow is a major pain. That really does look like Honigan. Yeah, it pretty much is Honigan, isn't it? Yeah. Oh no, I didn't thought about that until I think Rebel mentioned it. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought about it, about it either. All right. Let's let's stop these lasers from murdering us. Just do it. We're gonna do the same thing as last time. We're gonna. Uh... Uh, yeah, we're gonna die again. Okay, cool. Sounds good. If it wasn't for the fact that we only have nine inventory spaces, you know, I'd consider bringing a, rock, a sniper rifle. Mm. Nice. Yeah, I just wanted them to stop. Yeah, totally. I feel you. I didn't expect him to explode. I thought he'd just burst into flames. <laughs> uh, there you go. Don't you dare! Son of a bitch. Uh, excuse you? You didn't drop anything for me. What a bitch. Right? Yeah, it's so rude. Ah, you dirty rat! 
these chumps. Thank you for Taking my care of. Hey, what's this? Give me this. That might be racist, Clem. That's the sound they make. You can hear them now. Yes, uh, and you know, it's probably racist. <laughs> Listen, it's only racist if you. Alright, fine, it's racist. Hello, friends! I mean, it really oh. was the thing we talked about last time. Like, yeah, no, Capcom does a bunch to try and um, respond to the accusations of racism that came out early in the pre release stuff. Yeah. Like, they have more diverse crowds. I guess yeah, Af right. Africa. The nation of... Is it a nation? Like, just Kajuju is presented as a nation that's being taken advantage of. Yeah. And, you know, it's not like, oh, yeah, no, it's just Africa. <laughs> oh. And then you get to the dudes in mud huts, and it's like, hmm. <laughs> the dudes in mud huts that are throwing spears and going... Rrr, 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 rrr. Right. Yeah. 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 It's like, Japan, are you being racist again? <laughs> Give me this. Hey, a landmine. All right. There he comes. There. Right. Ooh, I don't think I'll make it. <laughs> nope. Eh. Nice. I was watching the map and I didn't think you'd make it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is not fair. He can shoot beams on both sides at once. Yeah, that's pretty dumb. Yeah, from one mirror. I mean, physics be damned, right? Apparently. Hmm. But then again, this game doesn't really have the sense of scale for maths. No, I suppose game not. Game series. Series. Characters Probably getting mass way too easily uh, when they're infected with something. This is true. There's a jewel in here. Oh, there's spiders mm. here. That's annoying. They had gold on them. Don't get shot by the laser? Okay. Made it. This is the so double this, one, this right? one's kind of awkward because there's two. Right. One shoots across and then the other one does, yeah? Okay, get back. Yep. One, two. Good. Did get the guy, though. There was a guy coming up. There's a guy? Who was a guy? Oh, uh, there. there was a guy that. coming up, and like I coaxed the laser out. Yeah. Oh, I missed. Wait, hold up. You can do there that. You, you didn't know? Uh, nope. No, I did not. Is there anything up there? Thanks. Uh, yeah, we need to throw you over there so you can get right. one of the items we need. That's what I thought. Alright, here we go. It's time. Uh, try not to screw this up, Clint, because I can't get to you if you do. I will try my best not to screw up, yeah. Uh, let me see. When you say TMNT 1990, you mean the movie? Uh, oh, hello. Oh, that's a big dude. Yes, he is. Oh, he's, he's, going... he's, he's coming. He's, he's coming straight up going after you. Oh, all right. <laughs> I come bearing gifts. Yeah. Don't worry. I too will appear. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah, you do mean the movie. I wasn't sure if um Oh yeah, that's a, a specific episode of the cartoon series that aired in 1990. <laughs> I think uh, Raphael says that line. I can't remember, to be honest. You dirty rat. 
You killed my brother, you dirty rat. Mm. <laughs> oh no, it's Michelangelo. He even says it in the thing. I was just reading the quote. All right, so that stops there. It sounded like you were doing one of the gangsters in The Simpsons. Well, the thing is, that's what he's doing in that movie. Oh no, what, what happened? Uh, I misjudged where it stopped. Yeah. <laughs> I noted. Oh, you only turned the one off. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah, you have to shoot the dude who's manning it. Yeah, I thought they were just magic and worked on their own. Oh, what the fuck? That was bullshit. Oh, he's quoting a gangster me. That makes sense then. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, I found something. Yeah, there's a gem up there, right? Not anymore. I was, man, that pisses me off, because I was nowhere near where that laser actually hits. Alright, while you're doing this, I'll, I'll do the line then. Yeah. Mmm, you dirty rat. You killed my brother, you dirty rat. Mmm, wahoo! <laughs> I feel like that was simultaneously awful, and yet perfectly capturing Michelangelo from the movie. <laughs> Oops. Hey, that's some fine work. I can't believe I never knew that. I've played this game a lot. Well, it's just funny, because, like, I've been up here, even, and I never thought anything of it. Like, what, is he standing over there? Yeah, he stood, like, in, in front of the torch. Yeah. Huh. Now, I'm glad you guys enjoyed the line. <laughs> yeah, this might actually be my most played Resident Evil. Really? Yeah, it's kind of crazy when you think about it, but I played this a lot with my dad. It is kind of crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Where where are they coming from, though? Uh, yeah, just down this corridor. Oh, there we are. Just gonna... Thank you. I haven't seen that movie in a very long time. Yeah, I haven't either. It was a good movie. Boom. What are you right. doing getting back up? Oh, hello. I couldn't do it that time. I couldn't hit. Oh, shit. Hmm. Someone doesn't. Whoa. Yeah. To play. Nice. <laughs> Uh, no. Whenever I think of someone uh, shooting what? a shotgun and talking between shotgun blasts, uh -huh. uh, it's always that one bit from The Simpsons. One bit uh, the the Simpsons. episode with the fighting hellfish where Mr. Burns and Grandpa are the last two hellfish left alive. Oh, okay. And so Mr. Burns decides to try and kill Grandpa so he'll get Grandpa's key so he can have the treasure. Uh-huh. And he hires this hitman who does a bunch of elaborate schemes that keep failing for various reasons. Mm -hmm. And so they eventually uh, just like, yeah, no, I'm going to burst into the retirement home with a shotgun. No, it's, it's not a shotgun, it's a machine gun. And spray the, spray the retirement home down. Grandpa runs into another room and says to the nurse, there's someone trying to kill me. It's like, okay, let's get your medicine. Right. Hitman busts the door down uh, and sprays the this room with the machine gun fire. Uh -huh. Uh Grandpa takes cover and the nurse gets, dies behind the counter and then comes back up with a shotgun and it's like, our residents are trying to sleep. <laughs> I do remember that now, yeah. Uh, Sider's got a question. Uh, if you question. want to answer that, Clem. Uh, I'm gonna ask you to read two lines, my favorite lines from it. Which one of you wants to read Raffi, and which one's, uh... Well, I, I already did, um, Michelangelo, and you already did Raphael. So you, you wanna do, you wanna just keep with that? Sure. Alright. I mean, let's be fair, of the two of us, I am probably the most serious one that will run off half-cocked and get himself killed. 
Perhaps. Kind of depends on the situation, but yeah. We... I say that as a subversion, since that's actually Raphael who does that. I thought that's what you were talking about. Come on. I didn't mean to yeah. press that one. Yeah, but like, <laughs> you'll be doing Raphael. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, a few weeks ago, I actually finally got around to watching Batman vs. Ninja Turtles. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah How'd that bad. go? I've seen worse. I've seen worse DC animated movies. Sure. Yeah. Hmm. Spider! They had money for me. This torch had no money for me. <laughs> Goddamn torches with no money. That one's not gonna work. Hey! No, I'll kill this one with a knife. And everybody's favorite part of Resident Evil 5, that one time there's a puzzle. <laughs> and of all things it could be, it's a light reflection mirror puzzle. Yeah. Uh-oh. We're locked in. Oh no. Oh, I was too far. All right, so you're Go! you're gonna stay up here then? All right. Thanks. It's so funny because like I I know Raphael and I I can't think of the voice proper for that because he's sort of like gruff Italian, right? Like New York Italian. Imagine, like, gruff Joe Pesci, I guess. <laughs> Joe Pesci? That's great. Yeah. Uh, all right. Go on and get your go on and get your fucking shoeshine box. Oh, I just need to turn this once. Here we are. That's good work, Clint. Thanks. Now go on and get your fucking shoeshine box. I'll, I'll read this. I'll read this on my on our way down. Cricket? Nobody understands cricket. You gotta know what a crumpet is to understand cricket. Alright. So this one's simpler because you just wait to knock this down until you've done right. everything. Right. Which means we could actually work together here because there's no danger of us killing each other. Right. We're you not just gonna work, off. work backwards. So you wanna go from here. Here. Yeah, it's generally what I do with mirror puzzles. Yeah. Oops. And then that'll go to that one, and then all we need to do is turn this one to face this one. Oops, not that way. Wise men say, forgiveness is divine, but never pay, never pay full price for light pizza. <laughs> I feel like that wasn't rough. I feel, I feel like that wasn't Michelangelo. That was like a different wisecracking cartoon character. <laughs> um. All right. Now, if I if I do this from in, on this side, I think I've done this before, where I've kicked it from this side, and then you can't get to the elevator. No, you could. You just oh, have to walk have to go all around the way, way around. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna avoid doing that, and I'm gonna kick it from this side. All right. Ha! Oh, thanks, Queen. I appreciate it. Mm -mm -mm. Thanks, Nicole. It's good to have our our fans in here. Yeah. All right. You remember what happens if you open the chest here? Uh, cricket monsters come out. Cricket monsters. Yeah, they're like giant cave crickets. That was. 
I'm just gonna send them more spiders. Maybe. I mean, you're, you're probably right. Are you... Where you go? Oh, you're over here. Um, now, do we have to shine the light at these, or, or do they open when we solve the puzzle? Uh, we shine it at that thing, the oh, statue that's that you're next to, to open the doors. We shine right. it down this corridor to continue. Right, okay. Oh, hello. Oh, son of a bitch. Thank you, Sina. I've been thinking about adding, uh, I think I said this a little while back, uh, adding more games to the uh, point redemption list. Um, shorter games, though, ones that aren't RPGs for a lower cost. Yeah. The people might want to see. Fifteen thousand <laughs> points. <laughs> That's great. Oh. You mean fifteen hundred? Maybe he means over the course of everything that he's spent in here. So is the only thing in here that the uh, BSAA emblem? I guess. Hmm. I guess so. All right. Now, where where is a safe place for us then inside of that room? Yes. All right. All we need to do is turn. In fact, you know what? Just stand there. Nope. I'm hiding in the room. <laughs> I refuse to be anywhere near that laser. All right. I love when I found out that those lasers are not just damaging, they just murder you. Yeah, they're instant kill. Now, that chest is a trap, but is there anything in the chest? Or no? No. Hmm. See, I fucking knew that one was a snake. <laughs> one point five K. I got the snake side, apparently. <laughs> that's, uh, that's some good work, Clem. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, like, uh, some games I can run through quicker. Maybe not Resident Evil, because I feel like I do enough Resident Evil as it is. Mm. I don't know. Would you like some eggs? You oh, give me an egg! You have a bunch of healing, actually. Oh, but yeah. yeah walk off them, bitch. Well, I mean, do you want to trade? <laughs> I'll give you the eggs, I don't know. Oh, I see. I see what you're doing. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so the chest in the middle, is it just a trap, or is there something in that chest once you... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just a trap. Hmm. I guess we don't need the treasure anyway. Hey, a gold beetle. All right. Beetle. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I could say like Metroid Fusion run, but I feel like Fusion's kind of too short. Oh, hey, a snake. Nice. Good find. Yeah, you don't want to stand there. Here? Why? Because this has to turn and go through that? This way, and it'll c come across you. Will it? Hmm. Alright. Which way does that need to go? I don't oh, think you've done 30 quotes, Sina. I'm not entirely sure Lino's done 30 quotes, and Lino's done the most. <laughs> You know, the question now is, can I get out? Uh, and nope, the answer nope, is can't. no. This is the one I was thinking of, then. So... Alright. Um... Oh, that's right. So you need to... You need to... Yeah. You need to set yeah, the middle one Yeah, let me just turn another one. Yep. Yeah, you're probably not far off. You got any ideas for shorter playthroughs, Clem? 
Um, I'm thinking yeah. like Metal Gear Solid could do. Yeah, Although, that's like, kind of what I was thinking. I, I've done that, Metal Gear Solid in a single sitting before. Right. It's a long scene, but I've done it. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Did you did you turn the thing again? What happened? Are you trying to kill me? Not yet. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. I opened the chest. That's mm -hmm. what it is. You open the chest before opening the doors, and the doors open, and out pour the spiders. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Interesting. Umbrella. Oop. I gotta say, I quick looked at all the chapters that we have remaining. We are pretty far in this game. Yeah, RE5 isn't that long. It's definitely way shorter than 4. Yeah. I mean, now that we're here, we're going to come upon Wesker soon enough. Wesker. How can they survive underground? Well, presumably the sunlight coming through that open hole on the ceiling. Come on, Sheva, use your brain a little bit. Wait. Don't open that door. I love how Chris spots this from across the room. Right. And it's like, you get right up in front of him, like, oh, I can barely tell that's Umbrella. <laughs> Chris is very attuned umbrella. to the umbrella symbol. What? What was umbrella? Doing? As was shown in fucking know. Resident Evil Seven it's when he, you know, around for a while. You can be sure that you to keep works with umbrella? Place. Question mark. That, that whole no, blue umbrella. Yeah. Was it blue and white or blue and red? It's blue and white. Yeah, blue and white umbrella is fucking dumb. Yeah. It's just, it's just funny, because, the, like, the game tries to explain it away, and they're like, oh, Umbrella, we wanted to, we wanted, like, it's still the same company. It's like, it's mostly, most of the people are gone now, but, um, what is it? But we wanted to maintain the name to, like, take responsibility for our actions. I'm like, okay. <laughs> That's dumb. Yeah, it also suggests, like, oh, hey, some of the people who worked at Umbrella back when it was, uh, basically a bioterror organization. Yeah. Creating bioweapons. Some of those people decided, uh, yeah, no, we're not gonna get tried for crimes against humanity and all the nasty shit. Mm hmm We're just gonna be like, yeah, no, we'll clean it up. <laughs> It'll be fine. Everything is fine. Everything meant by answers. Not sure, but it's the typical Resident Evil thing of don't think about it because it's really dumb. Don't worry about right. This later. First, we need to find out about Jill. You're right. Let's see what we can dig up. Wesker. Yep. Chris. Chris. I still think like the best way to piss Wesker off would have been to refer to him as Bert. Bert. Well, he's his name's Albert, and nobody ever calls Bert. him that. Hey, Bert, why are you doing that, Bert? How do I look, Chris? With your eyes, Bert. <laughs> Read document. Fuck that. Read documents. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm dumb. Come on. <laughs> Oh, uh, you remember how hyped this idea was uh, back when we first played RE5? Uh, uh-oh. Yeah, you remember how hyped this idea was back this, when we first played RE5? This idea? Yeah. Oh, are they bringing back a classic monster? Yeah, and it's not very good. 
Power on! I'm not gonna do anything with it, I just wanted to turn it on. Hey, I think. Give me that. Hey, machine gun ammo. Hey, alright, gimme. I don't have a machine gun. Can I run Doom on this? <laughs> oh. Hello. Doom. <laughs> oh no, evil flowers. Hmm. Gotta watch Tyrant out for those flowers. These flowers to make something. Must they be? Must they be processing them to make something? How do you know? This is the facility Crush. from the picture. No doubt about it. Smash! Kill! Oh. Kill! Oh. Hang on. There we go. Get it eventually. Nah, those ones are pretty. I thought you broke them. <laughs> I'm full? What happened here? What have I picked up? Oh, those shotgun shells are yours. You son nice. of a bitch. You were even standing in the same spot as when I turned around the last time. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of the, the idea. That's that was amazing. Was. It was really we'd great. We'd break them and make sure we back where we were when he turns around. Did you like that very necessary kick? Hey, what's this? That's terrible. Uh, that's a wall, Clem. Yeah, but do, do you see the scratch on the wall? I see a decal on the wall. A decal? Yeah, like, get up to it and, like, turn sideways. You can tell it's a texture. It's completely flat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it's Lino. How you doing, Lino? Hello, Lino. I am error. Well, you know, sometimes people need the obvious pointing out to them. That's a wall, Clint. <laughs> hmm. Don't worry, Clint. I'll take care of this. Thank you. <laughs> this looks really, really silly. <laughs> Wait. Okay, what's up? Okay. <laughs> Thanks. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Go! Okay. <laughs> oh, it's your birthday? Happy birthday, Lino. Yay, let's get a birthday shower for Lino. Lino's a cool dude. Painstaking. <laughs> Jill, oh my why don't you, the master of unlocking, take this lockpick? <laughs> Thanks. I'll take this then. What? What oh, is this? For, I get what you're saying now. I, I was so confused. I was like, you have a birthday shout out command? And then I realized what you meant. You meant a shout out in response. To his it being his birthday. Now I understand. He's single, ladies. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <I'm leaving. laughs> Deal with the liquors on your own. God damn. Flynn, where did you go? I left. You haven't opened this door yet? <laughs> it's hard, Clem. Oh no, I lost it. Let me let me, let me do it again. <laughs> Stop. 
This door must be really rusted. Yeah. Pretty bad. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I think I'm almost there. Okay. Oh, I lost it. God. My grip slipped, Clem. Damn it. Maybe you should handle it. Ugh. You okay? God damn it. Actually, I'm surprised that that didn't hurt me. Ha! Thanks. Roger. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for the help, Clem. Yeah, you got it. This I is just... why we're a team. Yep. I just want to never pull this lever. Alright, now try to be as quiet as possible, okay? Okay. That was probably probably worth a grenade. Now you might assume that Clem is actually being horrible to these animals, when in fact he, Clem is a noted animal lover and is just saving them from a terrible fate. That's right. Except for that dog, Clem just hates dogs. Uh, that's, that's not true. Yeah, it sounds like there's still something around. Fuck. Is it this thing? Oh, fuck. Hmm. I thought I could still hear an animal. Well, I hear a thing. You, are you fucking for real? Okay. Well. Uh, yeah, I thought I could hear an animal too. But I guess it, I guess it was them. Hmm. Weird. Oh, I, I, I've, I've got this here, Clem. Oh, excellent. In fact, actually, uh, give me that. Give me an herb. Uh, okay. There you go. Outstanding. Whoops, wrong button. That's a terrible spread. From that short of a distance. Oh my god. Oh, is it, it? Is it on the wall? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty far, isn't it? That's pretty bad. <laughs> mm. Maybe we should get a different shotgun. Maybe. How's everybody in the chat doing? Chat time. Oh, good thing that, uh... Hey, what do we have here? An AK-47? Great. Oh, no, it's an AK-74. Do I look Russian to you? A little bit. Yeah, I thought I might. It's the, it's the white hair, isn't it? 
Yes, actually, that is yeah. exactly what it was. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> I'm glad to say that, Nicole. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Yeah. I have a machine gun. You, you can have that. Yeah. We I don't want a machine gun. God damn it, Sheva. You done fucked up. You done goofed, woman. Alright, you know the plan? Uh, no, I don't. Be very, very quiet. Oh, yes, of course. We're hunting wabbits. <laughs> God. Yeah, I was che just checking, like, do you still have the mine? But that was last chapter, wasn't it? Yeah. I have an incendiary grenade. I have three grenades, but I was saving them for the box. Mm. Alright, go. Okay. You know, you probably should have pushed the button first, Clem. I, you know, I didn't even think about it. But that's my B. That's my B. I thought they were going to turn around the corner, you know what I mean? I kind of forgot. Uh, they how will, just give, give it a second. Sequence second. worked. I guess it was a good day for you. Oh shit. Get away from me! Okay. Uh, are we gonna take them out or are we gonna run? Ugh, god, these things will just keep coming for a while. It's probably not worth it. Okay, one drop to power heart. I'm I mean, going I can... for it. Yeah, go for it. Or a line oh, heart. Let's go. Out of all of them, only one drops a uh, treasure. I well, mean, not sticking around. If you are all dropping drop treasures, all right. So I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna grab this and this. Yeah, if they were all dropping the lion hearts, sure, stick around, kill them all. Yeah. Have the treasure, but like, if they're not, fuck them. Yeah, that's fair. I thought only two dropped in that sequence. Uh, no, only one did. The other was just small gold. No, 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 no. What I mean is, like, even if you kill all of them, they never drop more than two. I thought that. Was oh, the okay. I could be, I could be wrong. I don't know. That's just what I thought. How do you build something like this without anybody knowing about it? That means it's in Africa. Is that not, is that not a suitable response? Not really, no. <laughs> oh, what was the sad thing? There was a dollar. There was a money. He's beginning to believe. What have they done? Like, this place is huge, and I feel like we should be simultaneously too deep to build something like this, mm -hmm. and also not deep enough. <laughs> hey, there she is. Jill. She's blonde. I feel like I feel like making her blonde stupid. Yeah, I don't get the purpose of it. And you know, you'll have people who are who are like, oh well the treatments, they bleached her skin and her so hair. Many. Yeah, sure, that's fine, but fucking why? People from all over yeah, it's an in-game explanation right. that doesn't need to exist because it's at the whims of the writers and character yeah. designs. Glad I'm glad you see my point, because not a lot of people see that point when I bring it up. <laughs> Oh yeah, the uh, the Discord issue. I remember that. 
12. Oh, bummer. Like, That's why. Uh oh. This thing Rules of nature. Me. The deepest manhole is 12 kilometers deep, eh? What? Well, that worked. What happened? Uh, Did I miss died. a thing? I was looking over you at missed, chat. You missed the, the quick time event. I didn't even realize there was going to be a quick, quick time event. <laughs> it was great. Uh, it specifically just killed you. <laughs> are you uh, are you reorganizing? Okay, I was gonna go in to to punish myself, but actually, you know what? I should sell this, and I'll take my own. Is it upgraded? It is. Uh, actually, that's a fair point. Let me remove this. Actually, uh, jailbreaker 900. That's probably the big difference, isn't it? That the jailbreaker isn't going to be as powerful. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, of the shotgun, the M3 is the strongest. I could grab the Hydra. <laughs> Yeah, the Hydra's not as strong. Yeah. Although, it's never really clear, and I think we've discussed this before, that it's not really clear whether that's 550 for the whole thing. Or per... Or per uh, shot yeah. from it, yeah. yeah. Like, I'm taking the Hydra, I just fully upgraded it. Go for it. I'm gonna take this egg. I'm gonna take all these eggs. You still taking that machine gun? Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's M Dub. How you doing, M Dub? Just because it was in my uh... hey, M Dub, what's up? Oh shit! I didn't even think uh... they would drop us off here. Oh well, I'll eat this egg. Yeah, because we didn't get into the boss fight because you died. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Oh, okay. You want that here? You want all of it? No, I was giving you the machine gun ammo. Oh. Okay. Uh, away we go, then. Yeah, I took the machine gun thinking, like, hey, you know, I had it, so let's just keep it up. And this time I'll... Oh, we can skip this? Yes. But it doesn't skip the so many. QTE. Oh, it does. All right, nope, I'll you can't ahead. skip QTEs. Combat roll. Okay. Well, we need to shoot his legs, don't we? Yep. That was my back. Oh, hello. Stop moving. Don't worry, I've got something for this. Oh, you do? Excellent. Oh, yeah. Eat it, bitch! Oh, that's why you wanted those grenades, right. When you said the boss, I just wasn't thinking about what boss it was. Boss. You making fun of the way I say things? Maybe I am. <laughs> yeah, throwing the grenade in the, in the mouth also exposes the brain. Right. Uh, but I can throw another grenade in now. Cool. Have, Have another one. I love how he battle rolls away each time. Combat roll! Uh oh. Oh shit! Oh, well, luckily I was far enough away to not get hit by that. Miss me, bitch. <laughs> Oh, what are you doing? Oh dear. Oh no. Get away from me! Ah! 
Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay. Why does it spit out mosquitoes again? Uh, because it's in debt. Oh, of course. How could I have forgotten this? I mean, it's also really not a difficult box. Really not. Oh, hello, other mosquitoes. Yeah, here I was trying to shoot its legs to cripple it to make it fall, and then here you go, just throwing grenades in its mouth. Like a champion. Yep. Oh, what I do. White Sheva? Ah, seems kind of boring. GG. Yeah. Alright, we'll be here when you get back, Sona. Supermarket. Super supermarket. Super supermarket. You know, with how the rest of the containers have looked, mm -hmm. you can tell there's a reason they're not showing us the front of the container. Yes, exactly. Damn it. Where is she? Mr. <gasps> it's some it's, it's some broad. Finally make your acquaintance. Who the hell are you? <laughs> She works with Tricell. Nice. You've done your homework. An officer in the Global Pharmaceutical Consortium. Why? <laughs> As if I need to explain myself to you. Well, she wasn't asking for your reasons. She just wanted to know what the fuck that dress is about. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Jill? Jill? Even if I did know, you think I would tell you? Cut the crap. Tell me where she is. As soon as you two are done with your little vigilante mission... It's not really vigilante, it's, it's like, state-funded. No, this point is actually vigilante. We've gone against specific it's orders to oh, retreat. Right. You know but would she know that? It's time we get to well, the implication is Tricell funds helps fund the BSAA. Oh, that's right. And they pressured for those orders. That's right. Nice paying attention. Sorry I died. Hey, it doesn't, doesn't affect my rank. Actually, it does. <laughs> no, because it uh, counts as your death, not mine. Right, but it, but it shows up on your stats. No, it shows up as your death, not mine. Yeah, but it shows us for a death on both of us. Like, under your, like, Did your it? accuracy, all that stuff. You mean, you mean, like, once you get out of this game? No, I thought it... Hmm, I thought it didn't. Mm. But I wasn't paying attention. I see. Mm. Yeah, I think I think it counts for the both of us. In which case, I apologize. Yeah, that's um, cool, I don't really care. Here's what I'm, I'm not going after S rank. It didn't? Sure. Awesome. Um... Thank you, Queen. Hmm. Oh, she thinks, she doesn't know. <laughs> yeah, like I say, I'm not really going for S ranks, I don't care. Right. I'm ready. You're pulling out a Magnum? Yes. Are you expecting trouble? So this um, was the facility Excella was talking about. Yes. She's got us under surveillance. You know, she sent that now that I realize what level we're in, it might have been a better idea to go for All right. a sniper rifle. Then. Because we're going to be ascending this thing? Um, yeah, basically. I thought we were at the point where we're, um, where the, the liquors come through the, the ceiling. Oh, that's where it we It might be both. Yeah. Yeah. That's alright. We'll figure it yeah, out. Yeah, fuck it. Just right. Bro. We'll do this the American way. Um... I don't, I don't know how to feel about that. It's more guns, Clem. Oh, okay. Yay, guns. See, you feel fine about it. Yeah, I feel great about it.
You guys! I'm back. Back in the New York groove. Why do they have guns? This was the stupidest thing. No, the stupidest thing was the cover system. All of it's stupid. Yeah. I mean, the guns are bad enough, but the cover system that is necessitated by them having guns... Mm. Because it controls so badly, and it's just so dumb. Yeah. Ugh. I mean, guns for a one-off enemy like JJ, sure. JJ? Uh, the Gatling gun dude in RE4. Oh. But he was specifically like uh, the sub-boss category of the militia. Yeah. The damage issue from the guns is a problem as well. Yeah. Especially on professional. Like, the game goes oh, from yeah. not great on professional to, you know what, this is just absolutely awful. That guy has grenade? No, he doesn't. I thought the guy with the gas mask had grenades. He might have just been, like, on his body. He no, I think I mistook pockets for grenades. Ah. Yeah, do it. Yeah, since in professional mode, any damage you take is immediately into death. Right. Uh, professional becomes almost unplayable here. It's true. What the fuck? Watch out. That was dumb. That was dumb. That was really dumb. All that was stupid. And I was trying to take cover, but it used my health instead. Because for some reason my health was selected. Oh, or I think, yeah, there's a red herb here. That's good. Watch my back because the dude jumps down here. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Why are you alive? Three shots? Well, it's a good thing you have that red herb to go with. Come on. Not a green herb. Can we? Oh, I have to go to the door? Oh, that was stupid. I had to go to the door to press circle. Yeah, I was trying to press circle and it just wasn't coming up yeah. right. Uh, I remember this room. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. I think at least one of these motherfuckers of course. has a rocket launcher. Yeah, that sounds right. I think he's up there, though. It's not either of these dudes. No. No, they both have machine guns. Yeah, I see. I see somebody bobbing their head up there. Let me bob them right back. Yeah. You know, this is probably a good place for the uh, the handgun with a hundred bullets. Right. Oh dear. Yeah, I saw that explosion. Whoa! I saw that one too. Oh, oh shit. dear. Yeah, like five guys came around the corner at me. Yeah, I see that. Uh, downstairs, downstairs. I'm on the move. I'm on the move. Run, bitch. Nice. You son of a bitch. Okay. That was bullshit. He oh, okay. 
Well, he dropped Doric the green Lynn. herb, so that's good. I'm coming. That's right, everybody run. Ooh, a rotten egg. Great. Uh, you got the trophy? Yeah. Yeah, I believe I have all the achievements in this game. I don't trophy. know if I've got it on the PS4 version. Probably not. Well, if you don't, we can do it. Yep. Oh, yeah, another red herb. Excellent. Oh, you don't have to use that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Go yeah, ahead. that was garbage, because you shot the guy who was going to stun rod me, and he didn't actually go through the animation of hitting me, and yet he still got the hit off. Be annoying. Sella. Albert. What? Shit, Wesker. I thought he was dead. What if we called Albert Ali? And we called him Al and then worked that into Ali? <laughs> Hey, a green oh, hey, look. Yeah. That's good. Um, let's take it quiet through this section. Mm-hmm. Because liquors just are not worth fighting in this game. But I have this magnum. Uh-huh, and how many rounds? Twelve. Can you reliably hit twelve liquors? Can't we? Alright. So we'll take it quiet. That's fine. And if mm -hmm. we get into trouble, I have this magnum. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's good <laughs> to have backup plans. Yep. Heroes need backup plans. What about this box? Alright, so don't the liquors come out anyway? Like, can't we not avoid them? No, we can totally avoid these. Really? Yes. Interesting. I'm a little bit behind you, though, so... Don't no worry. That doesn't matter. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Well, fuck him. Bitch. Oh, shit. Yep. Nice. Thanks. BTG. Nice. Drop anything good? Uh, some of them will drop some stuff. Well, you see, there's the thing, you know, if plan B fails, we're dead. Uh-oh. Oh, you son of a bitch. You see, that is why you fight like a standing together. Okay. Alright, well, let's go grab all the stuff. Right. That was three lion hearts, damn. Four. Okay. That's a win. Nothing around there. Yeah, we yeah. don't really take that much damage from it, so that was okay. Nah, that wasn't bad at all. Good thing I brought this Magnum, after all. Good thing I got my boomstick. Yeah, really. <laughs> Both things helped. You ever notice how the uh, the laser sight on the Hydra is duct taped to it? I did not notice that. Take That's really funny. You see it? Yes, yes I do. It was even better once I got to the door, actually, <laughs> than if you're playing B fit. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. This area is not too bad. 
No. But oh, you're right. Bringing a sniper rifle would have been would have been beneficial here. Uh here? Nah. Um. No, here it's good because the guys the guys throw stuff down at you or like shoot down at you. Yeah, but I don't think the distance is so much that you can't do it with a handgun. I suppose, yeah. Oh shit! Get away from me! Yeah, that's good. Coming! I guess I was thinking, like, later in this section with the, um... With all the... Stop throwing grenades, asshole. Oh, you son of a bitch. What an asshole. Right? I did kill that guy, though. Good work. Oh. Oh, wait. There's another guy. Son of a bitch. Alright, I'm gonna go and have words with him. Yeah, you do that. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I missed with the rotten egg because he was just running into me. Oh, what an asshole. Yeah. No. Nah. Yeah, he's dead. I thought I had already gotten him, but I guess there were two. Because I definitely mm. saw one guy explode. Explode? Yeah. Like, I think I shot the grenade that was on his body. I like that that's a possibility. Ooh, there's a... There's a box over there. And eh, uh, You go for it, I'm... You go for it, I'm gonna run ahead. Uh, and I'll stop the conveyor belt. Oh. Eh, is the box gonna be that worth it, though? Probably not. Well, I'm already on the side, and I'm stopping the conveyor belt. Oh, it's okay. I'm already over here. Oh, I'm gonna restart the conveyor belt then. Why? I, I always feel like they're gonna come up behind us. Oh. Asshole. Uh, yeah, this one I don't think is too bad because... If you bear in mind the explosive canisters... Mm -hmm. If anything, this is easier. Oh shit! But, oh no, there's like four guys coming at me. Let me just blow up one of these numerous explosive canisters. Right. Here we are. Yeah, that's what I did to the first guy. Yeah, I like that that's something that can happen. Yes. Ooh. Oh, fuck. What What happened? A uh, dick bag threw a grenade oh, and it him up there. exploded the canister. Shit, that was a good throw. <laughs> oh, I need this handgun ammo bad. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, don't you get to a certain point? Yeah, there they are. What the fuck? Yeah, it was probably me. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I was getting the deuce that were uh, coming down the conveyor. Yeah, no, well, of course. They have metal just, shields, um, Clint. I'm sorry. We can't break through metal. Wait, what? They have metal shields and we can't break through metal. Oh, yeah, no, I understand. It's fine. Oh, shit. I can shoot them in the shins, though. Um, I wanna be bit. It just sucks so much because I felt so proud that I had um, that I had shot the grenade he threw at me from the sky. Mm -hmm. And yet, oh shit! There's oh, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? 
Yeah, you know what's coming up? What's that? You know what's coming no, up? No, doesn't seem that Reapers. way. Uh, you can take that box. Yeah, you know what's coming up? No. The Reapers. Oh, yes. Which is a shame I don't have any more Magnum Bullets. Yeah, I don't think they take too much damage. You just have to actually hit them in the right area. Right. Too out of practice for that. Me. It's hard enough to hit the liquors. What's here? Yeah, the Reapers don't jump around as much. This is true. Taking this. Just like, you know, try not to hit the Reapers in the wrong place or you won't be able to see where you're aiming. True. Your magic gas. And gassy. Can, uh, are you doing something? Are we supposed to start this up? Uh, we need to turn on the power. Oh, this won't work. Yep. Power is out. We should yep. try to restore and it. There are crates blocking both routes. And yeah. so instead of just hopping over the fence, mm -hmm. you know, we've jumped over things higher than that. <laughs> instead of just hopping over the fence and going round, no, we're going to go and turn the power off. Alright, All right, well, I have this. I have this. Yeah, at least you got ammo for it. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I thought I'd pick it up. Oh, hello. Hmm. These eggs don't look promising. It looks squirmy. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like it. They don't look as gross as they probably should, though, and I'm not sure why. Um, how would you like them to look grosser? Like, dripping with ooze? No, I don't think that's it. <laughs> Maybe it's the webbing? The webbing color looks too flat. What could they be planning? Maybe. Mm. Ouroboros. Man, that's a lot of... That's a lot of missiles of Ouroboros. Ouroboros. Uh, where am I going? This way. I feel like that... That's... What, 12 missiles? No, that's like 8 missiles. Mmm... There are three deep. Oh no. No, no there's no. three. One, two, three, three? four. Three? Two. Oh, two. Uh, two. Yeah. Hmm. So, nine. Excellent. Well, plus the I mean, one hanging here. And the ones here. Yeah, there's some more over there. Excessive. Welcome to Cla Welcome to counting with Mecca and Clem. <laughs> hey, Red Herb. Mine. Only we had it. <laughs> Mine, he says. Alright. Yep. Mine. I dropped it earlier. What'd you Dropped drop it while I was working in this area earlier. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. Here we are. Pulling the lever. Yeah. Checkpoint! What? Oh wow, doesn't you does it usually jump out this early? Uh I didn't think so. Did it? Hmm. Yeah, we heard it. Huh. Oh that's what it is. It jumps out while we're not looking, and then we come back and the eggs open and we see the thing in a couple of minutes. Right, yeah. Or I mean, in like a few seconds. Oh, it's in my hair. Gross. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Hmm. Looks gross in there. I've never really looked up in the egg before. You get what I mean about the webbing, though? Yeah, well, it's probably an issue of that, what you said before, where it's just like, it's an image on the thing. It's not really like texture. Mm. 
Oh, hello. Shit. Well, that didn't do anything. Yeah. Yeah, it's the insta kill. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Open your fucking thing. God damn. Piece of shit. <laughs> Power stone. Well, that was some fine work. Thanks. <laughs> Like I say, not really that difficult if you can get the good shots in. The yeah. main issue really is just the instant kill, and if you don't hit the right spot, then you can't see. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Queen. Yeah, this, this is one of the weird things that RE5 does every now and then, like the dalliance with trying to be a little more survival horror -y again. Yeah. And it feels weird, like, oh yeah, no, here's the Reapers and we're going to do it like this. But also, it's like, oh, what was that? Oh, an, an egg's opened. Oh, what could that mean? And they spend, like, three seconds letting you wonder. <laughs> I'm gonna let you have them, but I needed all five of them. <laughs> oh, look who it is. My boy, Mr. Charisma. What? Oh, hello. Chevy, hey, Chevy, Chevy, Charisma. <laughs> hurry! Come on! Hurry! Roger! Hurry! Okay! Sheva! Hurry! <laughs> Sheva! Not really. <laughs> We've not really done that in this playthrough. We really? Oh, haven't. it's it's this fight. Hey, all right, it's time. It's I'm ready. time. I'm not ready. X-Men, welcome to die! <laughs> you know when they re-released that, the, the legal reasons they had to re-record like, re all the voices, and Kyle A. Bear did that line? Mm hmm. He played adult Gohan. Oh, okay. Neat. Uh, handgun ammo here. Most annoying thing ever. Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, this Come on! 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 Go! Go! Come on! Okay. Yeah, the um the, I think you end up with at least two more voice commands in... You know what? I don't need this. And I do not need these. Uh, what's that? Uh, I think... Um, there are at least two more voice commands in RE6 and it really helps. Mm. Premium content. <laughs> the premium content. So now, what what's the actual tactic here? You 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 wanna you wanna get it to expose its bulbs, but then keep the flamethrower on it as the bulbs are exposed to keep them out longer. I don't fucking know. Honestly. Oh, you don't know? Oh, I thought you knew. <laughs> okay. It's it's really awkward, especially because when you're using the flamethrower, you can't see how far it's going. Right. Well, so let your partner use the flamethrower and see how far it goes, and it goes way shorter than you think it will. Mm. But you don't want to get close to the damn thing because the Ouroboros worms will drain your health. Uh, in this game, it's um, come on, go, wait, and thanks. Thanks. His body is ready. Ouroboros. Ouroboros will be released into his pancreas, ensuring complete, total saturation. You know, I think Charisma's got the right idea. Yeah. I have no intention of setting it to terrorists. Then what are you using it for? 
Maybe we shouldn't have this conversation while this worm monster is bearing down on us. It's a sector. Evolution. It's a philosopher's stone, one that will choose through DNA who shall proceed to the next stage. My vision and his combined now made a reality. Evolution? What are you talking about? Na 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 I've heard this guy, this fight was glitched on the original PC release. Oh. Yeah, like he, there was just a potential of it becoming completely unwinnable. The boss wouldn't die. Oh, nice. Wait. I hope that's not the case here. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> we'll never know either. But uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna basically. Uh, do this the American way. Okay. You want me to grab the flamethrower while you blow it up? Oh no, it's not ready it's yet. Okay. Wow, that did not stay out long. No, it did not. I like that the mm -hmm. one the one music riff in this. Sounds a lot like the Yu-Gi-Oh theme. That ba 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 ba. That part. I think it's just like because that idea is kind of a generic, dramatic riff. Sure, sure, but you know. Oh shit! We'll call it something offensive than justify the racism. Uh, I was actually thinking of explosive and shoots. Uh, charisma. <laughs> Quim, look out! Dear God, would you fucking knock it over, Sheva, already? Oh, those things touch me? That's bullshit. Get off me. Yep. That was a bullshit move. I was in the middle of the, the animation. Now get off. Oh, cool. It fucking moved. Oh, it's over here now. Great. I'm taking this. Oh, I don't have room for it. Never mind. <laughs> Take it later. Sorry, Clem. Uh, I'm a okay. It's waiting okay. for traffic to clear. Come on. Oh, you t you have too much uh, yeah, hand sure machine gun ammo now. It's I okay. can't give you more machine gun ammo because you have too much. Yeah, it's fine. Stop throwing your arm at us. Fuck you. What the fuck? Ah! Did it just glitch away? No, it just sinks into the floor. Oh, it looked like it had glitched. If I didn't take A my mouse. Oh, say cheese. God. If I didn't take my fully upgraded magnum, I would just get rid of it. Oh wow, that is really short. Holy shit! Yep. I've never seen it from this angle before. Basically, oh. just I'm basically jamming it inside the thing. Oh. So. Why the fuck did I die? Oh shit! It has the natural powers of Linguini. That was bullshit. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, this this isn't upgraded, right? Yeah, we're fucking selling this. Wow, that made me really mad. Mm -hmm. Where's? I want to reload this before I put it back. Fear the linguini. Linguini will come and it will invade every orifice in your body. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, all right, let's take this. How fucking infuriating. You have a rocket launcher? Oh, we're not going to do this the, the legit way? Oh, that's fine. Clem, I do not have a rocket launcher. I have a rocket launcher. <laughs> oh, damn. Bitch. Well. 
well. Yep. Yeah, see, it shows a death in each of our columns. Bitch. Well, that was something. And we never saw it again. Right? Oh. Alright. Um, that was actually the only rocket launcher I have. Really? Yeah, I don't actually have another one. I have three. <laughs> I don't know why I have three of them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one of these eggs. How do I just? I just want. I'm one. gonna be honest with you, Charisma. Um, pulling it out and saying "rocket launcher" in the Metal Slug style was the most satisfying part. Yeah. It's the Metal Slug. I like. I like it. I wish I had someone to play Metal Slug with. Metal Slug. Oh, you remember when I did Metal Slug X on stream and I ran through like over a hundred lives to finish it? <laughs> Vaguely. Like, that's the thing, like, ma every Metal Slug is like, yeah, no, this is a fun game and it's pretty doable. Then you hit the final stage and it's like, yeah, give, give me your money. Give me your money. This is true. It is unbelievable how much those final stages, like how much the final missions ramp up. Yeah. Still love Metal Slug though, it's fantastic. Uh, I hate how if you do, like, if you don't get all the items in here though, they all despawn in this chapter. Yeah. Ouroboros. Give me the treasure. Ouroboros. <laughs> oh, there's ammo in here. I wonder if I'd like Metal Slug more or less if I ever played it in the arcade. Oh. Probably more. I mean, you spend the money on it, but like, arcade's the place to play that kind of thing. You get yourself a second player. Who demands to play as Theo when you're like, no, fuck off, I'm playing as Theo. <laughs> like, the arcade experience just isn't the same without that. Mm. Never really played any arcade games unless it was with my brother at the bowling alley when my parents were in a league. Did they have Time Crisis? They, uh, no. The only time I played Time Crisis was at Dave & Buster's. I love light gun games. Yeah, they're fun. Yeah. Ooh. I don't know. I don't. I feel like I couldn't do an arcade. I couldn't. I couldn't do arcades these days with my uh, hygiene phobias. I'm just oh, gonna yeah. take all of these then. Yeah, do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Did Konami have a six-player arcade game besides X Men? I didn't know there was a six-player anything. Yeah, uh, there's a version of the X-Men arcade game that has six players and is double panoramic screen. It's amazing. Hmm. Oh, bitch. Oh, fuck. Come on. Just X-Men. Yeah, I've, I've had hygiene uh, phobias for a few years now, and it's been progressively getting worse. And, yeah, God knows this year hasn't helped. Or last year hasn't helped. I hate that I line up a shot. Oops. Yeah, I think the uh, the two, green, two screen versions of Simpsons and CMNT were the four player versions. Reaper music. I don't know you don't. Thanks. Good job. Bitch. We're good stuff. What the fuck? Why did that hit me? You know, that's actually a really good idea, Charisma.
Bitch. Nice. <laughs> it's alright. Uh, yeah, I didn't get to run around the front like I usually do. When you want to, when you're gonna stomp on somebody like that, you want to go for the head, because the head right. is the kill. There's magnum ammo. Oh, I got rid of my magnum. Oh shit! Oh, God damn it! Damn! Is that all you need to do? That's all I need to do. You might need to do more. Yeah, we were just saying that about the uh, the introduction to the Reapers, how RE5 decides to be kind of survival horror for a second. But has the whole survival horror intrigue of a new monster last for maybe three seconds. Right. My favorite arcade games, though, were always the kind of things you couldn't really play at home. Probably because like, I didn't really play our I didn't really go to arcades like before PlayStation or anything. True. And so at that point, it wasn't even a case of oh, graphics like we can't get at home. And so, from that point on, it was basically just light gun games. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, no, what are we going to play in the arcades? Light gun games. I just never really got to go to arcades. I think the first time I saw a fighting game in, a, in arcade form was Tekken Tag Tournament. But that was just because they had that at the local cinema. And that was also kind of a thing, like, I didn't go to the cinema till I was, like, 11. You're going across, I take it? Well, I guess I am now. <laughs> so you stood on the thing. I was seeing if this dude dropped any items, but the weird thing is, he did. You know, because the big guys always drop uh, treasure. Right. Oh, watch behind you. He did, but it was on the other side of this platform, oh, not yeah, where he yeah. died. In that strange bit. Yeah. Nice. There's a guy with a gun on the right side over there. Yeah, I know. I can feel his bullets. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that was always the uh, the danger of playing fighting games in the arcade, that somebody would come along just to mess you, like, ruin your time. Yeah. There we go. I couldn't hit him because of this weird thing in front of me. Well, that seems about right. Yep. <laughs> oh, hey, another rotten egg. Hey, all right. <laughs> yeah, for me, it was uh, the light gun games and occasionally some of the racing games. I was never big enough in racing games to have, like, the steering wheel set up at home. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Feeling a little defeated there. Son of a balls. Yeah, I love House of the Dead. Yeah, House of the At Dead. At some point, I should, um... Because I have... 
I think, all the light gun games on PS3. It's the only reason I ever got the PlayStation Move uh, back before they... Before Sony was like, yeah, no, PlayStation Move is going to be uh, what we'll use for PSVR. So, you know, for, for a long time, nobody, nobody bought PS Move. It was cheap as fuck. So, I, I bought PlayStation Move and uh, the Navigation Controller, I think, together for £13. Nice. And I got all of the light gun games on PS3. Umbrella Chronicles HD, Dark Side Chronicles HD, House of the Dead 3, 4, Overkill, Extended Cut, uh, Time Crisis 4, Dead Storm Pirates, and whatever the extra game is that comes on Raising Storm. No, I wanted to, but that jumped up in price. Wait, no, I do have a gun holder. I don't have the uh, the big one that takes the navigation controller as well. But I do actually have the official handgun holder. Not the rifle one. The rifle one was cooler. Watch out. Uh, it was kind of like the Wii Zapper, but actually cool. What the fuck are you? What what is happening right now? This is weird. That, this uh, guy. People killing, people dying. Oh, back up. That was really strange though. Explosions can't stop me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now's not the time to reload, Sheva. Don't you dare. Oh, okay. Well, that could have gone better. Yep. <laughs> hey, Santa, welcome back. Oh, man, that was that was scary. Hey, there's a green herb in here for you to steal. What do you mean, steal? Well, it's theirs. It belongs to them. I know. <laughs> I wanted to get a second move controller at some point, so I could basically do House of the Dead co-op on my own. Because, you know what, if you've, if you've never sat down and used both guns for House of the Dead at any point in your life, then you're not living. Oh, yeah. No, if, if you haven't played any light gun game with two guns, like... Time Crisis, time Crisis is trickier, because you need to work two pedals as well. Well, sure, of course. Uh, but... Um, by that point, PlayStation VR had come out, and Sony was like, yeah, no, you can use PlayStation Move on VR, so now you can't get them cheap for, like, 60 quid for a fucking Move controller. It's like, you know what? I'm not paying that. I don't care that much. Um... Yeah, you know, one day I do want to have that Dreamcast keyboard so I can do Typing of the Dead on stream. You ever seen Typing of the Dead, Clem? Uh, no. Uh, imagine... Have you played House of the Dead 2? I have. Right? Yeah, imagine that, but instead of shooting zombies, you're typing words at them. Oh, good. That's literally what it is. It's amazing. If you've never seen it, look it up. Alright. so much fun. I have to type the Dead Overkill on PC, uh, but for some reason it's awkward. It won't run off my NVIDIA graphics card. It has to run off my integrated uh, Intel graphics card. That's strange. Yeah, I don't get it. Time to heal up. I hate this. Uh, each zombie has a word on its forehead. You have to type it before it gets you. Yeah, it sounds like a classic kind of Educational kind of thing. You know, I'd appreciate that, Sino. Um, there's also the thing, the main characters don't have guns. They have keyboards in front of them attached to Dreamcasts on their back with a giant battery on top. <laughs> it's amazing, honestly. 
They should have put that in schools as like a typing shooter because it's one of the best typing shooters as well. Like, you've seen Mario teaches typing? No. It's not that good as a typing tutor. But Typing of the Dead really is. Really good. And you get to like the final level and you're fighting the um, the Emperor. Yeah. And you, you're typing in full sentences with punctuation and everything within the space of 10 seconds. Fantastic. You had it in your school, Signer? God damn. Nice. I did that with a shotgun. Hey, yeah, if it the... works, it works. Because <laughs> that's all I have. <laughs> yeah, would you call it Kojima level stupid? Because Kojima's done stupid things. But I don't think ever is like a parody idea. Oh, you know, that would actually be pretty neat. I was never into Quake 3, but I was into one real tournament. Mm. And it was kind of the same philosopher. Yeah. Plus, you know, if somebody's holding a Quake 3 tournament, you know what you can do? You can convince them, like, hey, did you know this Star Wars game runs on the Quake 3 engine? How about introducing that? Jedi Outcast and Jedi Academy both run on Quake 3 Engine, and they're like the best Star Wars games. Yeah, there is that, but I feel like um, the controller for the Mark II in MGS4 being a PS3 controller was just Kojima's fourth wall breaking uh, product placement ideas. Like how Snake had an iPod in that game for no reason. Uh, if, you, if you got a lurk for, um... What the because, fuck? Oh, That's shit. bullshit! Clem, no! I'll fucking blow your head off. Get over here, piece of shit. You know, when when you put it like that, Charisma, I, I totally get what you're saying. Yeah. That's that's a fair point. Uh, if you got a lurk because the screen's making you nauseous, totally understandable. Like, don't hesitate. Mm, that's fair. I think this is the liquor section you were thinking of. Yeah, probably. And you don't even have the Magnum for this now. No, I don't. That's okay. Hell, I, I don't have much of anything. <laughs> That's alright, I wouldn't use a handgun on liquors anyway. Oh, yeah, thanks. The issue, I feel, with this section isn't that you're using any one weapon on the Lickers, it's that Lickers can so easily stun you. If we want to find out, we're going to have to lower that bridge. Uh, at the minute, we're currently uh, taking the opportunity to work through FF7 with Clem on Sundays. Uh, and I also want to still... I never got any word if anybody else wants to do Dragon Crown, Dragon's Crown Pro with us either. Dragon's Crown. Yeah, because uh, Sina chose that as his Sunday show, Sunday showcase. Oh, nice. Whoa, I knocked my microphone over. Oops. Uh, hey, the rifle ammo that I don't need. Oh, you got Dragon's Crown Pro? Nice. Uh, there is the January, se January sale going on at the minute. Maybe it's on sale there. Oh, did you did you flip the lever on that thing? Do you want to go yes. up or? Uh, let's consider the weapon situation. See what everybody's got. Okay. And also, give me a second because I want to actually get an answer for this while we're on stream. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Uh, you've got the melee vest, uh, the bulletproof vest. I don't think it's going to do much. No, no. Um, I used that because I knew the stupid elevator was coming.
Dragon's Crown. Dragon's Crown Pro is not on sale on the January sale, which is dumb. Mm. Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen is, though, if anybody wants to grab that. Uh, you've got two... Uh, healing items plus grenade. Yeah. Uh, here, let me give you a little extra shotgun ammo, and okay. you go. Sure. I'm ready. Go! I mean, really, I just go! need to make it to the go! end go! Go! and push the thing, right? Yes, uh, but you are gonna have to watch out for the liquors, and I'm never. There's never a good position to cover yeah. you from from down here. Right. I I'm gonna need you guys to react to my shots, please. I hate it when they do that. Yeah. Oh, they're coming for me as well. Shit. Oh, well. Shit, indeed. You know, I'm quite liking the Hydra. Uh, now I'm spending more time with it again. But that reload, though. Yeah. No. Blow up, please. Nice. Okay. Can I leave? Nope. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Come and get me. See what happens. Oh, that's bullshit. Man, they, they were just on, like... Fuck. They were on, like, fuck, indeed. There's like nothing I could do. Don't worry, we can we can work with this. Yeah. It's, it's just annoying because it shouldn't have had to go that way. Like the fact that I have to shoot them twice for them to react to the shotgun blast, that's it's just not okay. Yeah, it's dumb. And by the time the grenade exploded, it like I, I don't know. The whole the whole thing was just shot from the beginning. All right, you got right. a PSG one. You can use that against the liquors. Hurry up and save Clint. <laughs> uh, I do have a lot of rifle ammo, and I'll let me get a healing item. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that just kind of pissed me off. And and the thing is too, like you don't have any opportunity to heal because they're they're right on you. The issue is like if your health goes below a certain point, it's like oh yeah, no, the dying thing. Right. And you just can't do anything about that. Right. Maybe this time I'll just instead of trying to shoot this first one, just run past them. That might work. Yeah. Yeah, to Santa likes to talk about uh, the oh. PSG one he's got. Yeah. Alright, maybe that'll do. Why are there so many fucking liquors down here anyway? Don't you have anything better to do? Oh, that's where the two that that's where the two came from earlier. They were the two you left behind. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Shot that one in the booty hole. Nice. I was like six shots on that one, like a. Oh. Somebody wants to play. That is busy, honey. Hold on, there's, there's 
There's things I can pick up. Did they ever stop? Ah, you were exploding! Fuck you! Yeah, I got those iframes. Okay, I think you're good. What? Like, what's the point of doing all this? Like, you might as well just sit there and kill all of them. I think you basically have to. That's why the box is there. Alright, let me pick up all this shit then. Possibly. Although I'm not I'm not sure Clem's finished pushing the box. Isn't the box knocked down when Clem's done with it? Uh no, no, you just push it enough. I mean, I could push it all the way, I think. I think it just kind of fits... Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, there. But you don't need to... You don't need to push it to that point. Hmm. Maybe there's a certain threshold it has to cross and then they stop spawning the liquors. Yeah. I don't know. The whole thing was stupid. Unlocked. <laughs> Thanks. Got some magnum ammo. First aid spray. First aid spray, more like first aid bay. Hey. Yeah. Good one. And uh, the freaking goblet of fire over there. It's mine. Damn. I dropped it earlier. Hmm. That door was locked. How could you have dropped it earlier? You're asking a few too many questions, Clint. We're gonna have a problem. Nope. 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 I'm over it. Right. <laughs> I was leaving. Hurry up! I think the best case you can make for all the treasures we're finding here is that these could be priceless uh, African treasure pieces. Yeah. And that we're basically just pulling a British move. <laughs> Damn it, where's Jill? <laughs> Jill? Maybe I'll tell you. Maybe You're I'll really not the femme fatale you think you are. Right. This one, though. Oh, Nino Williams. Stop playing around. We want some answers. <laughs> Maybe I'll put a bra on. Maybe I won't. <laughs> hey, Zach. But. Wesker. You are alive. This is Wesker. <laughs> we last met at the Spencer Estate, wasn't it? It's weird how they try and play this off as a reveal, despite the fact that they've already shown in the game that Wesker's still alive. Right. And they showed it in the trailers. Oh, did they? To see us. Yeah, pretty much. I remember people were trying to figure out what that so line meant. We last met at the Spencer Estate, wasn't it? Well, Clint, uh, Chev is not wearing sunglasses. Chev is just wearing regular glasses. Mm. Jill. But you are right. Battle of the sunglasses. Jill, it's me, Chris. Yeah, what? his, his black sure suit is really, really cool. The one and only. The texture on it is really nice. <laughs> Nino Williams. Yeah, Nino Williams. <laughs> King of Iron Fist Tournament. Now, let 
Oh, this is gonna be a trip. I think the odds are fair. Two on two. Right, Joe. What is actually Would the goal? We need to get through the fucking Uh, basically just stand in front of the door and hope Wesker initiates the cutscene. Right. There we go. You know, I'm gonna need to hear your Wesker voice before I can um, decide if you're good for the role charisma. But no, as a concept, that role would be fantastic. I'm gonna say that you basically just need to do like the deep voice and commanding authority, and you're pretty much good. There's no point in hiding. There's no point in hiding. Oh shit! I thought he was stunned. I shot him in the back. Wes Wesker up. Come on, Clem. Where am I Come on, where? No oh, to do the thing. Well, it's kind of the thing. Like, I feel like Capcom in recent years has gone hard against established voice actors. Um. Near. Running. Like they dropped Roger Craig Smith as Chris. Uh, watch out, Jill's right there. Yeah, she sure is. Oh God, Wesker's axe kicking. They dropped Matt Mercer as Leon. Ah, there you are. Oh, you can't see me. You don't know where I am. Thank no you. Yep. Yep. Ah. Honestly, I you'd know more about the voice acting industry than I would, but it really feels like Capcom is trying to avoid the unions for their voice roles lately. Like uh, Alison Court was talking about how Capcom were in contact with her about reprising her role for uh, RE2 make, and then they just said no, we don't need you anymore. And then that was it. Ah, there you are. Like, honestly, God knows what's going on with it. Oh shit! Yeah. Get away from me! <laughs> I just, like, definitely just ran face to face with Jill. Uh oh. Yeah, I feel like that's a main thing, like. They just don't want to spend that little extra money. It's not as though they're losing quality either, because like the RE2 make voices were fine. Yeah. Uh oh. He knows where I am. <laughs> How can you know where I am? i I'm I've been so so stealthy. He's right around that corner. Oh There's right, he's no over point here. in hiding. Fuck, I pressed the wrong button! Well. Let's go. Mm -hmm. I mean, Jill, get out of the way. Ah, there you I don't know where I am. Yeah, it, it brings up the whole point of... Corporations just being so against union ideas. And it's super unfortunate for union workers like that. Because the only reason is specifically about saving even the smallest amount of money. Performance indeed. Oh, I didn't mean to reload. Oh, I got kicked. <laughs> no, that's bullshit. Get up. Oh, is he leaving? Is he done? Is it over? Yeah, I think we got it. Nice. GG. Oh, man. That was terrifying. More of a challenge after all this time. I feel like you were a lot more scared than I was. He scares me. 
Yeah. <laughs> also, go. I've only ever done that whole bit once, co-op. Mm. So I didn't want to like screw up and lead Jill to us. But Jill was really not much of a character. The biggest problem with Jill is that she's not marked on the map. Literally undefeatable. Yeah, but you have the choice of um, lasting seven minutes or just doing enough damage. Right. You also get the trophy for doing enough damage. What's that? You also get the trophy for doing enough damage. Right. And you get that uh, nice gem. Don't you? Get yourself together. Wake up. Uh, I don't think you get it all, Michael. You have to pick it up here. Oh no, that's what I mean. It's only there if you beat it. Remarkable. Still resisting at such an advanced stage. Commander Ball, get futile. Get the fuck out of here with your Blackberry, you punk no ass time bitch. For games, Chris. I've got work to do. Have fun watching Jill suffer. Holding her and shooting her is faster, but if you miss, then you're gone. Yeah, you do both. Uh, the number of times it takes depends on difficulty. Right. Like, honestly, this is the worst part of the game on professional. True. Sure. Because of that, it takes so many times. Yeah. Oh, I was trying to kick her. And the slightest hit kills you. Right. Alright. And that's what we're okay. gonna do. Hello. Oh, don't shoot me. Come on, Jill. What are you doing? Uh oh. Coming. Bitch. Nice. Sweet. Rip it off. Oh no, we can't. Rip and tear. Nice. Oh yeah, did we get the the diamond? Uh no, I didn't pick it up. There we go, the heart of Africa. Excellent. There it is. Yep, that's probably a crime. Oh no. I was behind her too, I had to I had the chance. Um, Let that be a lesson to you. Okay. <laughs> to who? <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> no witnesses. Oh, man. Okay. In fact, you know what? I should probably keep the, um... The rifle. For this. Or should I use the magnum? Yeah, the Magnum has the higher power, so if I use the Magnum for the shot, that'll be that'll be fine. Yeah, this is true. Uh, oh, right, healing. Take two of those. Should I bring the rocket launcher for Jill? Yeah, if you want to do it, you gotta do it. <laughs> At least we don't have to do the Wesker part again, it's just the Jill part, right? Yes. this. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, god damn. Jill, remember this? Answer <laughs> me, Jill. I love how ridiculously huge the barrel is on this. Yeah, it's insane. And that's what we're gonna do. I meant to equip that and then use it. <laughs> oh, you got a diner? Sorry, what? Uh, Charisma's going to diner. Ooh, nice. 
I love a good diner. Yeah. Eat some some pie. Are you going uh, to dine? Tonight uh, you would. Tonight you die. No. Now I want to go to a diner, though. I'm glad everybody enjoyed it. I didn't expect it to kill her in one shot, but I intended to kill her that time. You want to actually uh, hit both of us this time? There you go. Yeah. Uh, but thanks for joining us, Charisma. Uh, Sani, can you give Charisma a shout out because right. he's a really cool dude? That's what we're gonna do. Oh, Jill's up there. Come here, Jill. Uh, and, like. Uh, oh, definitely shit. check out Charisma's, Charisma's channel. He's a really cool dude. No, I didn't want to get kicked. Wanted and if you ask him nicely, he might do funny voices for you. Hey, there you go. Thank you. How you doing, Seek? What are you doing? There you are. I have this. <laughs> He's made. He's literally made of funny voices. It's actually kind of scary. So, like, try and get in on a, a stream when he's Stop not using Jill, the camera, because Utter. Mr. Charisma is in fact an eldritch abomination made of voices. That's probably enough. Well, it certainly got yeah. him. Yeah, or... get in there. Yeah. Oh, forgot I had to dodge. I thought I hit that though. Ouroboros. I want to get out into the open a little bit. <clears throat> Take care, Charisma. We'll catch you next time, buddy. Thanks for joining us. Hello. Thank you. It's me, Chris. Don't you recognize me? You yeah. know, meetings that you don't have to wear pants for are always the best. Oh yeah. Yeah, get that off. I don't need to tap the button anymore. Why am I tapping the button? Ha! Nice try. I dodged this time. Come on, snap out of it. Whoa. Uh, hello. No. Don't do this, Whoa. Jill. Yeah, when she does that, basically just run under here. She can't do anything. I don't want to hurt you. Yeah. Come here. You need to be taught a lesson. Climb on this broad. Oh, okay, I'll watch you here. Matzer. Uh oh. Nuts a day, sweetheart. I'll tear it off. <laughs> oh, what is this? Professional? Right? Jill, what are you doing? Eh, whatever. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know what the problem was? Tell me. I hit her shoulder. Nice. That's the big oops. Oh, man. Hmm. What are you gonna do, huh? Uh, I'm gonna look into picking up something to help. Oh? <laughs> yeah. There's actually a trick you can do that's really good for this. Oh? Yeah, trust me, I'll, you'll love this. Alright, I'm sure I will. I'm very interested. Yeah. Unfortunately, I just need some cash because I sold, um... I threw basically all my money into upgrading this Magnum. Yeah, I noticed that. God, nothing sells for anything in this game. Yeah, it's all about the treasures. Alright, there we go. It's a, shame. it's a shame we can't just pick up the Heart of Africa and sell that every time. Yep. You, you bought a rocket launcher? Nope. <laughs> nope. Didn't see anything. Okay. If we could remove that device on your chest. Did you? Huh. All right. What did you expect to happen? 
Oh dear god. Who is back flipping now? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh man. I can't believe you fucking rocketed Jill. The problem was that I missed. I noticed that. <laughs> Alright, let's grab some stuff then. Grab some stuff? I'm gonna try not. Yeah, like, all the stuff around here. Like, I, I don't want to miss. I don't want to leave any of this stuff. Yeah. All right. Oh shit. Okay. She fucking like wrestling moves on me. Don't shoot at me. She deserved it. Oh, don't you? Don't you come in here like that, Queen? You oh, know she deserved it. She deserved it. Oh my God, this bitch! I swear to fucking God, put your guns away. Don't worry, I'll show her guns. Just take a look at this! Yeah, what the fuck?! <laughs> you think she saw it? I think she saw it, yeah. Right before she fucking died. Good. Oh my god. Kill Jill. Coming soon, so it's there near you. I just, you know, the thing was, is like you said, oh, let's grab some shit. And I said, oh, okay, yeah, that seems like a good idea. Let me distract Jill while you get all the things. Mm -hmm. All right. But and then she, and then Jill was like, no, you die. Right, she just used her guns the whole time. Okay. Is the, is one of the many pieces of this fight that make it so bad to play on professional. Right. Jill, what are you doing? Nice. Why'd she hiss at us? Oh. I don't know, like, a lot of zombie fiction has hissing for some reason. Right. Bitch. Nope. Yeah, there's no point in doing it for like at least the next three shots, apparently. Stop yeah. this! Jill, answer me! I thought because you you flipped her before that we were getting there, but I guess not. How about now? Yeah, yeah if you wanna go for it, just try not to get kicked in the head. Yeah, well, that's what you're here for. What did I just say, Clem? I didn't get kicked in the head. Yeah, that was the weird thing. It sounded like you did. It did like the kick sound. Oh, weird. Oh. Hello. Jillian is back. Me, oh, shit. Don't you recognize me? Get her. Let me handle this. Okay. Come on, snap out of it. Oh don't shit! Do this, Jill. I don't want to hurt you. I do. Jill, what are you doing? Well, then I am proven to be a violent sociopath. So. Did you say Clem and I? No. I don't remember being a sociopath. Can I restrain you right from here? Nope. No, I didn't, I didn't say you're a sociopath. Jill, oh, I thought you said Clem and I. I don't feel nearly as confident with you as shooting her, plus I don't have a magnum, I only have a handgun. I feel like it wouldn't Yeah, any, any damage helps, if you miss with the handgun, you're not gonna kill her. Really? Yeah. Oh. I shot her like eight times before with my handgun. Me, Chris. Before Did she died. Me? And your handgun's weaker than mine. This is true. Get her. Tear this thing off. Now, if you you don't even shoot it, you can just tear it off over and over and over again, and it'll work. Yeah, it just takes a while. Mm. Come on, snap out of it! Don't do this, Jill. Oh, fucking bitch! I don't want to hurt you. You know, considering uh, earlier Resident Evil games, it's kind of weird that they don't have the option for a bad ending where you kill Jill. Oh, god damn it! What kind of machine guns is she using where one shot has that kind of stopping power? Yeah. 
And they're fucking machine pistols. They're not even sub-machine guns. Yeah, like considering the way Ari. Oh, uh, fuck it. No. I tried to run, like, through her. <laughs> I was hoping it would work. Yeah, considering the way Ari 1 went, and Ari 3 has multiple endings, yeah. it is kind of disappointing that you don't have the option for a bad ending uh, where you kill Jill. Yeah, that is a fair point. I've got dumb revelations, too. I do want to do it on stream at some point, but I'll end up having to do it single player because the, the co-op situation for that is dumb. Yeah. Alright, last magnum shot. Let me handle this. Oh, see, we just needed Chris to do it. Yeah, I think you were just, like, not putting all your strength into it. Yeah. Sorry about that. Well, I wouldn't say RE2 does. RE3 does. RE2's different endings are really just a case of playing Jill. different scenarios, which are just different. Jill. Are you alright? Chris. I'm so sorry. It's okay. You're Sheva, right? Yes. I couldn't control my actions. Oh my god, I was still aware. Oh, forgive me. It's alright. Thank you. Remember when the uh, the fourth Resident Evil movie introduced the chess devices? With no context for what the point of them was? Oh really? I never watched anything past the second... Well, the, the fourth one, Alice finds Claire after she was left in the third movie. And it's like, oh, that haven you were all heading to at the end of the third movie it was an umbrella trap. And she, the only person she finds there is Claire, who has one of those devices on her. And Alice rips it off, and Claire has amnesia for most of the movie because of it. Oh, okay. And it's really fucking dumb. <laughs> But the fourth movie was where they started just ripping off RE5 stuff. Right. right. Like the um the fight that we have with Wesker later, that scene is directly just ripped into the fourth Resident Evil movie. Take care of it. Shot for shot. Hmm. Like if you haven't seen it, it is unbelievable how they just started ripping those sequences out of the games. You're our only hope to survive this. Yeah, I remember. I think the um, I think the fifth movie uh, is the one that has Ada, and that just directly rips off the sequence from RE4 where Ada puts a gun to Leon's back. Okay. All right. And then it, like Leon twists it, and then she backflips the gun out of the hand, and Leon just pulls out the knife. Right. It's exactly the same sequence they do it in the the fifth movie. Over there. Except you know it's Alice because nobody else can do anything cool. Of course. Well, it's a good thing we brought Sheva those glasses, or she'd never have been able to see these guys over there. <laughs> it's time to put an end to this. It's time. Time has come, and so have we. How many deaths? Six. All right. The fun thing is, neither of us died there. That's true. <laughs> That's really funny, actually. Uh, let's put that away. Mm. Old trusty Hydra, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how the Hydra's working out. The fire rate's really nice. Mm. You feel like they skipped something between the end of last chapter and the start of this one? 
<laughs> like how the fuck they got on a boat. Yeah, it's like this in the cutscene it has the whole uh, overlook of the shipyard. Yeah. And now we're just on the ship and it's nighttime. This ship is huge. Do you think they're going <coughs> to use it to spread Uroboros? Uh, yeah. Wow. I mean, using a ship like this would give away their position too soon. You no. Know? They must have another plan. Reasons. I wonder if stuff like that was cut. Oh, hello. I mean, it's known that the... I think Capcom straight up said the Lost in Nightmares scenario was intended to be in the game at launch, but they couldn't... Uh, they weren't able to get it done in time, so they put it into DLC. But I wonder how much else was cut for time. Someone's throwing grenades. Yeah, I heard those clinking. It might have been that guy, but I don't know. He might be. No, that guy was down when someone when one of them landed. Ah. Oh, here he is. I found. Ah, oh, good work. Why didn't he die? There. So, uh, do this chapter and call it. Yeah, I think so. I think that's a reasonable uh, goal. Mm hmm. Which will work out because I think timing wise it'll put us in a good position next week. Because it should be should be nearing the end. I think uh, where we are now we'll finish before the three hours next week. Uh, okay. But we are planning to do the DLC though, so that's fine. If anything, with the DLC the timing might work out depending on how long Lost in Nightmares takes. Uh, I don't have anything set up for us to do if we finish RE5 too soon right. uh, into a stream. And watch out for the big guy down here. Yeah. There he is. Dogs. Dogs. He's dead now. I love when the knife stab gets his, uh, closes that off. Yeah, it's the same with the stomp with Chris, like, it's why I do it, uh, on the head, because you do it on the head and it'll explode the head, and that's instant death. Yeah. Get him on the chest and they're probably still getting up. Give me a grenade! Ah, excellent. Oh, thanks. You want that Healy back? Oh, you have one. No, I've got one. Nothing over there. Nothing over there. Box over here. Yeah, it feels like, especially in comparison with RE4, Five doesn't really give you much in the way of money through the game. Yeah. There's the treasures to kind of counterbalance that, but it doesn't really work. Mm. Because the game gives you so little money to begin with, the treasures are basically what keeps you going. Yeah. Is there a guy up there? Yep. 
don't think he was gonna do anything yet, but he, he was just there. Yeah, uh, that's a good call. Nice. So, one of these open containers has an emblem in them that you have to throw a grenade into to find. Hmm. Not sure how you're supposed to know that. Right. I think you see it, like, because the doors are, are like, waving. Like, you can see it from one angle. I didn't realize you had to throw a grenade. I really didn't walk forward like that. Yeah. Yeah, I, treasures in RE4, I don't think it's too oh. bad. Yeah, the combining treasures in RE4 was a decent idea. And I don't think the treasures were that bad. The money you would get would make up for it. It'd be fine. In this, the money you get means so little. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, like that. Okay. Nice. Uh, now, am I... What am I supposed to do? Uh, there's some ammo over there, Clem. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't want to... I didn't want to leave you hanging there. Uh, you have to climb up the crane. You should have a key. Key? To well, open I, I can a, go out this way, right? Door. Yeah, you should have a key to open the, the locked gate over there. Hmm, I don't. Boogie guy on the pole. You know, I'm not sure what you're talking about there, Cliff. Uh, Teak. Uh, buggy guy is Uh, hmm. This is weird, there should be a key somewhere. Right. There's not really anywhere I can go. Yeah, because you have to go through that locked gate to climb up the crane. And I've investigated the thing. It says I need a key card. Did Locked. me killing that guy up there make that not happen? That can't be right, can it? Uh, <laughs> that would be really strange, wouldn't it? All right, let's do the restart then. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, we won't kill that guy this time, and we'll see how that goes. I'm keeping this flash coming, though. It's not a bad idea. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that shouldn't matter. Yeah, guys just... I just stood there. Yeah, that's, that's strange. That really shouldn't matter. Yeah. It's not like... I don't think we can both get trapped in here. No. It's like, okay, wait, wait. Okay. Uh, and on three, we'll both start walking forward. We're in about the same position. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. Hmm. I was even a little ahead. I thought I was a little ahead. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. Oh, come on, man. I shot him. Fucking damn it. You're throwing grenades, of course. Fuck you. That works out. There it is. 
fan key card. He didn't drop it last time. That was really weird. Yeah, that was weird. Which means we left the dickhead who's throwing grenades alive for no reason. Right. Oh, or he's dead now. Oh, I just saw it. So when you shoot this thing, it shows... Yeah, you get a glimpse here. I saw it as well. You did. Good. Yeah. You know, it's fun to catch glitches on stream, but that wasn't a fun glitch. No. A required item just didn't load. Yeah. Hello. Oh, that was the guy. Okay. So that guy that we left alive, he drops down and then hides behind a shipping container to ambush you when you come this way. That's weird, because I killed that guy. Say again? That's weird, because I killed that guy. Oh, then maybe it's a different guy. Yeah, it's gotta be. Uh, he was he was the one throwing grenades, so I killed him. I didn't realize that's what you were doing. Oh, well, good you just stay still? Fucking hell. I will release you. I don't know if that's actually good or bad, considering what, what's happening right now. And well, timing wasn't great, and it didn't help that the uh, the dog didn't stay still during the cutscene. Oh. I can't move, but the dog can. Like, yeah, thank, no. thanks, Resident Evil. Yeah, sorry about that. Nah, that's not your fault. That's I Resident Evil's fault. I thought the better, the sooner I let you out of there, the better, but... I think there, I should have been done with them by then, but... Yeah. Yeah. The dogs just wouldn't stop moving. Well, that's like that guy who got me. We, we both got got. Uh, mm. you already... You're giving that to me? You're not gonna... Oh, I see what you're gonna do. Yeah, you don't, uh, you don't have a healing item. Oh, nah, that's okay. Oh, it, of course it's okay, because I gave you one. Thank you. What? If more people jump out of there, that's bullshit. Yeah, that's pretty dumb. Nice. That is bullshit. Ah, that guy's right. that, that guy's gonna run all. Le le let him live, Clint. Oh, oh. I wanted to see him run all the way around. <laughs> that that would have been funny to me, especially if you'd run back and close the um, close the the thing. Yeah, that would that would have been funny to me. That would have been funny. Yeah, my mistake. Yeah, it's cool. I just, you know, I saw a guy, I said, you shouldn't be alive, so I killed him. Oh, hello. Damn. Yeah, I forgive you, Clem, but Queen doesn't. Aw, oh, damn it. Uh, so I need to get on that one, and we need to bring each other up, right? Yep. Just in time. Yeah, that was pretty good. Hmm. I was actually trying to get it just before you got on, and I didn't think it'd work. Yeah. And it was pretty effective. Hell yeah. Good stuff. There it is, rock and roll. More dogs? Yep, more dogs. More dogs? Oh, dogs. That's why I hate dogs in Resident Evil games. Just gonna uh, take that voice clip later and edit. Yeah. Where the fuck did you even come from? God damn. That'd be the fun thing. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna edit it the way you think I will. Uh oh. Yeah.
You're just like, you know, hello, I'm Clem, and I hate children in Africa. Oh my god. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Why is there a dog up there? Uh-oh, I can't do anything about this. Behind you. I'm glad that one episode of South Park when all of Chef's lines were very clearly uh, just taken separately. Yep. Ah, more dogs. Hey, children, would you like to suck my chocolate salty balls? <laughs> I want to make love to your children. <laughs> to the children. <laughs> Give me that! Give me that money. Fucking dogs, man. Fucking dogs. I was gonna take that line as well and change it to fucking children in Africa. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a lot of dogs. That was an exception. It really was. But that I think that might be the last time we see them. Thank god. The climax of the dog the dog subplot. <laughs> uh, yeah, you take those. You deserve them. I deserve a lot of things. Wow. Such modesty. I'm the most Chris, modest person you'll ever meet. Chris, Chris, come on. I bet money on it. <laughs> Alexia. Hey, there's a grenade up there. Take that grenade. Yeah. Uh, I think the jailbreak is down here. Oh? Oh, you know what? I'm thinking a different set of stairs. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> oh. I'm thinking this set of stairs. Mm. Ah, yes. It won't be easy finding Wesker, don't worry. Once he knows we're here, he'll find us. How do you know that? How do you know that? I'm gonna call him the big gay. <laughs> oh my god. It'll drive him crazy. You must have done something to really piss him off. It goes a bit beyond just pissing him off. Yeah. Calling him gay would have pissed him off. Calling him the big gay? Hmm. Yeah, that's a, that's a line. Yeah, Wesker just can't take it. Taking this. I'll take this. Come on. Maybe I'll maybe I'll throw it away. One side. Those full auto shotguns, man, they always look weird. Uh is this full auto? Or is it just got a drum magazine? You know, I think this is the end of this chapter. If you wanna go and throw it. Oh, just unload it? Yeah. You can hold it down, but I don't think that's any different than anything else. I think mine might be a little bit faster. Maybe a touch, yeah. There's nothing down that way. <laughs> Come on, hurry up, Chris. Yes. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Can I help you? What's up? Chris. What's going on? Come hmm? on. Okay, Chris. Chris. <laughs> oh no, it's more of those plants. I thought I got rid of them. Freeze! Freeze! Don't move. What's going on here? Nothing that can Don't move or we'll shoot. We're not giving you an option. Now spit it out. Tell us what we want to know and you won't get hurt. Oh, she's moving. Where's Wesker? If you can behave yourselves, maybe I'll tell you. I don't think she's planning on telling us. Okay, so 
good that they shot. Damn it. She's tough. Bad that they fucking that missed. Much. Yeah. Like, we don't know Sheva's background uh, training-wise, but cl Chris was supposed to be an elite operative and an expert marksman. Right. Excella seemed protective of it. Yo, when is this game set? Like, 2009? <laughs> oh, that wasn't the end of the chapter. Hmm. Well, here we are. Much liquid. There's a um, green herb over here. That I can't pick up. Although I could get rid of this. Uh... Machine gun ammo. Well, I'll be getting rid of this. Uh... Wait a second. Is this where we came in? This must be where we came in. It oh. really throws me off that uh, RE5 won't let you do three greens. Hmm. It's especially weird because they brought three greens back in RE6. Yeah, well, they did a lot of weird things in RE6. Hey, alright. Nice. <laughs> oh, I'll okay. take care of this guy. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, I remember this section. The grenade hasn't gone off yet. I'm sorry? No, The grenade has. hasn't gone off yet. Right. The grenade didn't go off. That sucks. Yeah, because I threw the grenade. So yeah. I used a grenade on nothing. Yeah. That's, that's really dumb. Yeah, that, that irritates me. Who knows, Highlander? Who knows? You know what else is dumb? Tell me. I'm taking cover, I pull out a herb to heal. And to heal, Chris has to stand up out of cover. <laughs> Great. Nice. Oh, there's another guy over there. Watch out, I think more guys come from uh, behind above. You mean that crate? Or you no, mean... I mean up where you are. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a dude there throwing grenades. Yeah. There we go. Good cop. Hmm. I'm gonna drop something. Hey! Or dudes. Okay, I have a rocket. I don't know. Not more dudes. I don't know what I'm gonna do about more dudes. Flash them. Hopefully they'll be distracted for a moment. Oh no! I'm yeah. nowhere near you. Run, Clem, run. I'm running. I gotta get down there. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Eh. Come on! No! <laughs> okay, I got you. I can't believe oh fucking Bullshit machine guns. Yeah, that was bullshit. Holy shit. Okay. Like, oh yeah, no, that's uh, that, that was a great full heal. I have a first aid spray. We're good. That's good work, man. Oh my god, I can't believe that. This kind of shit is why we're not doing this on professional. Right. Oh, that's you over there. Okay. Yeah, you can tell because, uh, of several reasons. Oh shit, there's a guy up there. Several reasons? Yeah, the hair, the outfit. Right. He's dead. Yes. Cool sunglasses. Oh shit, watch out! No, 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 don't do that! I get that this is veteran, but th those three machine gun shots took off way too much health. Fuck! Fuck you! 
Fuck off. Not, not yet, Queen. Oh. <laughs> That's all I had. Oh shit, he's got grenades. Wait, get in the hole. Yeah. And of course there are bags down here too, and I can't do anything about it because I'll be sitting duck. Yeah, we gotta make use of this bad cover system. Yeah. It's funny, I don't think it's even all that bad. It's just not good. Yeah. Okay. Let's see, that kind of reaction time is what happens when you expect the unexpected. Yeah. One day, maybe you too will expect the unexpected. Well, I mean... I tried to shoot... Oh. See? Yeah. You know, this is actually a good time to have some healing items. <laughs> we got double JJs. Uh, God, they're not even called JJs. Uh, double. Motherfucker. I wasn't even looking in that direction. Yeah, why would you? Oh, because we didn't kill anyone before, yeah. Uh, there's a red uh, herb. Yeah, we have a green herb. Uh, hold on. There you go. Yeah, we made it. Some fine work. Yeah. What happens when the boys are in town? Great. Right. Uh, but yeah, double is, I think it's double minigun, guys. Um, yeah, I think you're right. But there is a, get that proxy a canister there. Yeah, because both of them have one key. Is this our introduction to minigun guys in this game? I think so, yeah. Actually, I think hmm. there might only be one. That doesn't sound right. Wait, yeah, no, because the other key card is actually up there. Here we are. Can I punch him? Okay. Nice. I okay. Yeah, that's what we're doing here. Oh shit! Oh, that was bullshit. I had the option. Run, Clem, run. Run. No, seriously, run. Okay. I've got Running. no other use. I've got no other use for this proxy mine. Right. Oh, that made me so mad. I had the option to. I had the option to punch him, and it didn't let me. And instead, he got to punch me. It's dumb. What's really dumb is, for some reason, he was able to detonate the proxy mine yeah. before being near it. Oh, okay. Well, I flashed him for no reason. Great. Whatever. He's dead. Well, you know, I'd say at least you still have your dignity, but you flashed him. Right. <laughs> uh, the reason Chris didn't die is because I'm playing as Chris. <laughs> And Mecha never dies. There you go. That's it. Oh, there was another container up, up here. We could have blown him up twice. Oh, son of a bitch. It was a red herb here. And I combined the green herbs and said, Oh, here's another green herb. Hey, here's all that healing stuff you wanted. Well, we'll use it for next time. Next time. Catch it. Yeah. Next time. I don't like being watched. Inspector Gadget. Oh god, this fucking part. Yep. With the explodable cover. Yeah, which is fucking dumb. Yep, it sure is. Yeah. Oh. 
Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Fucking hate those dudes with the uh, gas masks and body armor. You're just there, like, oh yeah, no, I can only shoot them in the arm. It's it's bad enough that they exist, but to exist with also a rocket launcher is just bullshit. Yep. And this much health. Alright, I'm gonna go and say hi in the only way that I know how. Yeah. Well, I killed one of them. Oh shit. That's probably. Don't worry, I got all. I got almost all of them in one shot. Nice. Oh, there's more. Yay, was I don't remember these things being here. Uh, just weird. I didn't remember until they appeared. Yeah, I don't remember them being here. Like, specifically in this section. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well. Well, we dealt with the problem. Yeah. Oh. Are we done with this chapter yet? <laughs> Probably. This seems like... So, An end of chapter cutscene, yeah. Yeah. Too bad you won't make it much further. Alright, so in the interest of getting Clem away in time to do his daily Monday ritual, <laughs> uh, we might as well uh, start doing goodbyes during this cutscene. Sounds good. I want to thank everybody who joined the stream. Um, always appreciate the support. Big special thank you to everybody in the chat. Lino, uh, Queen, Siner, Mr. Charisma, M-Dub. Um, I feel like somebody else was here, but I can't think who. Yeah, I always lose track. Teak was here. Uh, and I'm not seeing anybody else in the list. <laughs> what if uh, we've forgotten you? I uh, apologize, but you were very much appreciated. Uh, Clem and I will be back next Monday at 9pm Greatest Mean Time GMT with more Resident Evil 5. Uh, Clem, when are you streaming next? I'm going to be streaming at 12pm Eastern Standard Time with some Final Fantasy 9. Cool. Uh, I will be back tomorrow at 8pm Greatest Mean Time GMT with Final Fantasy 13. The right to be a god. Dear God, Wesker. That right is now mine. That's what Wesker. I feel like I feel like we should just get uh, DC Douglas to redo that line and just say, "I'm sorry, I wanted to be inside you." Oh my God. <laughs> Arrogant even until the end. Yeah, Clem's doing FF9, I'm doing oh, FF13, and together we're doing FF7. Yeah, on Sundays. Right. It doesn't check out at all. No. No, it does not. <laughs> the right. With Uroboros, I have. That right. I feel like the sunglasses are a little too transparent there. Yeah, I mean, I kind of like it, but at the same time, hey, look at how sassy I am. Yeah, but look at my ass. Yeah. <laughs> That's <kinda> great. <laughs> awesome. But wow. yeah, um, Clem and I will be back for Resident Evil 5 on Monday, 9pm, Great Means Gem TMT. We'll be back with Final Fantasy 7 at 8pm <coughs> Greatest Mean Time GMT on Sunday. Yeah. Wesker in this game is voiced by DC Douglas. DC Douglas. Uh, if you check his uh, YouTube channel, he is 
uh, pretty active in using the Wesker voice for fun stuff. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty good. Uh, in a very similar way to the way David Hayter and Cam Clark are with their uh, Snake and Liquid voices. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for us today. Um, I want to thank Clem for joining me. Um, it's always a good time with Clem. Uh, but with that, let me see if anything's going on. Rebel is live. Let's go set the raid up for Rebel. Yay! Raid time! <laughs> yeah, with that, uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, have yourselves a fantastic time of day. And take care. Have oh yeah, been. Lino. I, did we mention Lino? I think you did. Yeah, Lino's cool. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, take care. We'll catch you next time. See ya. Bye.